Hello everyone. Let's provide the solutions to this problem. We have x to the power of 3, okay, x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equal to 12. And um, if you are a novice in mathematics, just stick to your to your phone or your laptop and um, watch this video because you will learn something new. Now we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equal to 12, right? Okay, the first thing I will do is to bring 12 to the left hand side. So I have x to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 12 to be equal to 0. Now, what will be the next thing I will do? Remember, we're having 1, 2, 3, you know, 3 um, terms before the equal to. So it will be kind of difficult for us to factorize this. So I have to break this into 2. And I'm going to have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus... Now, look at 12 here. I can bring out 8 then also have 4 and this is because 8 can be raised to the power can be written in index form so that you have power of 3 and 4 can be written in index form so that you have power of 2 is that okay and if you put these two together you have minus 12 so this will be equal to 0 now what do i do since i am relating these two you know, I have to bring them together and these two will be together. So I have x to the power of 3 minus 8, then plus x squared minus 4 equal to 0. And then from here, we can group these two and deal with this and group these two and deal with, with it. Now, x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 will be in the first bracket because 8 is 2 to the power of 3, right? Okay, so plus here I will have from um, x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 equal to 0. I am doing this so that I can apply difference of two squares here. But here I will apply another standard. Are we ready? Okay, so here now do you know that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this will be the same thing as a minus b, okay, into a squared plus ab plus b squared. Do you know this? Okay, if you do, thank God. And if you, if you were not aware of this, I think... I think by now you know. Now, if you look at this, we have difference of two squares here. And for difference of two squares, that is a squared minus b squared. This will give a minus b into a plus b. Now, I'm going to apply this to standard. For x to power 3 minus 2 to power 3, I will apply this. So in place of a minus b now, I'll be having x minus 2. Close that. Then a squared is x squared plus ab will be x times 2 and that will be 2x. Then plus b squared will be 2 squared. So I'll write my 2 and square it. Okay, so I'm going to the next bracket and I'll have plus over here. Then I will open the bracket for difference of two squares. So we're going to have x minus 2, that is a minus b, x minus 2. Then close it, a plus b becomes x plus 2. Close this, and remember that this is still equal to 0, right? Okay, now what do I do? Let me take a step further. x minus 2 is here, and then x squared plus 2x plus 4, that is 2 squared, then plus open bracket, x minus 2, 
into x plus 2. This is equal to 0, right? Okay, now what do I do from here again? The next thing I'm going to do is to factor. You know, I have to factorize this since x minus 2 is here and it is over there. So it has to come out as I will have x minus 2 as a common factor. And then here I have x squared plus 2x plus 4 in this. Then plus here now it is x plus 2 that will be there. And if you like, you can have this in bracket. Then close this. Okay, close this and let this be equal to zero. Now, what do I do? X minus two is already out as a common factor. But then, if I open the inner bracket, I can simply add the two. Remember, there's addition between them, so we are not multiplying the bracket. We are to just open this bracket by adding so now let's have the second bracket we have x squared right then here we have 2x plus x that will give us 3x and then here we have 4 plus 2 and that will give us plus plus 6 then close this and everything is equal to 0 now what do i do apply zero product rule and for the zero product rule, remember that it is either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0, right? Now, let's pick this. From here, x minus 2 is equal to 0, meaning x is equal to 0 plus 2 because I have to make x a subject and then our x from here is equal to 2. Now, this is one of the solutions to the equation, x equal to 2. Now, let me divide this this way. Now, let's go over to this. Remember, this is a quadratic equation and we can solve that equation using the formula method. What is the formula? The formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and this will be over 2a. And now what is a? a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of, three, um, of x and c is a constant which is um, 6. Now direct substitution. Our x will be equal to, in place of minus b, I have minus 3, plus or minus. In place of b squared, I have 3 squared. Then minus 4 times a is what? 1 and c is um, 6. This will be all over 2 times 1. Let's continue. This is 1. Now, this means that x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus, we have 9 minus 24. How did I have the 9 minus 24? 3 squared is 9 and 4 times 1 times 6 is 24. Remember, the whole of this will be over, over 2, right? Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so from here, our x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of negative 15. This is over 2. If we continue with this, then we are going to have x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. And now, do you know that you cannot get the square root of minus 15 from your calculator? Because this is imaginary. So we must get out this negative from here as we get our i then we write square root of 15. So now you can press your calculator to get the square root of 15, knowing that this i is an imaginary standing for the negative. Now, this will be over 2. Now, let's split this into 2, because this is a 2 in 1 solution, because of this plus or minus. Our x is either equal to minus 3 plus i, square root of 15 over 2 
or x is equal to minus 3 minus i square root of 15 over 2. Now, from here, we have two other solutions. Let me bring the three solutions together. Let's call this our x1. Then our x2 will be equal to minus 3 plus i square root of 15 over 2. This is our x2. Then x3 is minus 3 minus i square root of 15 over 2. So these are the three solutions okay for the equation thank you for watching and i want you to rate this video over 10 because we are still learning i want to improve so thank you for watching